Did Spelljammer signal the doom of Dark Sun? Now it's gone, and I hate everything. Wizards of the Coast is on something of a D&D campaign setting revival kick, with Ravenloft and Spelljammer receiving recent reboots, and a new Planescape box set planned for late 2023. One other cult classic campaign that hasn't gotten the call for a reboot is Dark Sun, the post-apocalyptic world where dragons are rare, magic is outlawed, and everyone has some form of psionic ability. That's We'll note that the Spelljammer Adventures in Space box set contains several references to Dark Sun, with the appearance of several Dark Sun monsters appearing within its bestiary. Dark Sun's infamous defiling magic even made a cameo appearance, as a Sauron defiler appeared. Now for the record, 5e defiling magic is treated very similar to 4th edition defiling magic. It even appears that at one point Athos was due to make a cameo in the Light of Xarxas mini campaign. A preview for Spelljammer, released by Roll20, showed off a wild space map containing a reference to Athos space. However, the final version swapped out Athos space for Doom space, a new wild space system that is, well, very much not Athos. Those are two completely different pictures. Now, we should also be aware that Dark Sun deals heavily with themes such as slavery, suffering, and oppression. It's a world built around survival, where virtuosity is seen as a detriment, a reason why paladins were banned in the original Dark Sun books, and where making terrible choices is a daily occurrence in the face of death. Given the evolving views on how tabletop role-playing games approach oppressive power systems, Wizards of the Coast would probably want to avoid a world where slavery is commonplace. You only need to look at the backlash they face for incorporating slavery into the backstory of the Hodozi. Wizards of the Coast would need to tread incredibly carefully if they wanted to avoid bringing back anything less than a radically different Athos. Even Dark Sun co-creator Troy Denning spoke about the potential difficulties of rebooting Dark Sun for a modern audience. In an interview earlier this year, Denning said, I think if they reissue Dark Sun and ask me to do it, I would want to take a very careful look at and make sure that the stereotypes were not being used negatively and that we were avoiding stereotypes as much as possible. I'm proud of everything I did in Dark Sun, but that's not to say that I couldn't do it better now. We already know that Dark Sun isn't in the works for a 2023 release, and it seems unlikely that Wizards would release a Dark Sun book so closely to the release of one D&D, or whatever that ends up being called. In the meantime, I think fans will have to be content with the return of some Dark Sun monsters and Spelljammer Adventures in Space, and maybe some supplementary material via a D&D Beyond release. Would you want to see a Dark Sun revival? Let us know in the comments section and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the character sheet.